uh, good morning children first day of the week uh, you have your English class okay children we are going to the next chapter which is called the unit 3 okay in unit 3 we are having in the first page of page number 21 you have um, this is the way that is this is the way this is the way I wash my hands wash my hands this is the way I wash my hands so early in the morning now this is children uh, you have a beautiful rhyming poem this is called a rhyming poem it is also taught in your lower classes like UKG LKG and first standard how do you say this how do you sing this this is the way I wash my hands wash my hands wash my hands this is the way I wash my hands so early in the morning then after washing your hands what do you do children you wash your face the next is this is the way I wash my face wash my face wash my face this is the way i wash my face so early in the morning next one after you wash your face what do you do brush your teeth so this is the way i brush my teeth brush my teeth brush my teeth this is the way i brush my teeth so early in the morning this is the way i comb my hair comb my hair comb my hair this is the way i comb my hair so early in the morning now children this is a daily routine okay this is your daily routine now how do you do next one this is the way i go to school then you can rhyme it up this is the way i read my book then this is the way i wear my clothes this is the way i eat my food this is the way i drink my tea so today's morning class we started with a beautiful poem with a rhyming of the words okay you can also do the actions children how will you do the action this is the way I wash my hands the wash your face then uh, combing your hair all this with your actions you can do so this is on page 21 you start unit 3 the next is children cleanliness is next to godliness is your topic children now this poem shows how you how you have to get up and how you keep your body your inside your mouth and your hair everything very neat isn't it so how is neatness taken so neat, you know children it is very important to keep your body neat keep your surrounding neat not only the body but your surrounding where you sit where you walk where you stay you have to keep the area very clean why because it is carrying and it, all this uncleanliness causes virus bacteria and that will cause you disease okay so today we are doing a beautiful topic on cleanliness is next to godliness now why do we say children cleanliness is next to godliness why do we say because the more things we are keeping ourselves pure you know you keep your heart also pure your body inside also thoughts inside your mind all should be clean it is not only the body, the surrounding which is causing bacteria but it is also your mind 
and your heart keeping good thoughts and good words in your mouth no speaking bad words so all these together keeps you close to whom to keeps you close to whom children keeps you close to close to god keeps you close to god if you are clean all around you are close to whom to god okay now when you go to the temple when you go to the mosque when you go to the church gurudwara you see how neat and clean the surroundings are because it's a holy place so there it is we worship god but children in your heart and at your home is also a god's place god is residing god also is in your heart and in your house so today we will go into this beautiful lesson that is cleanliness is next to godliness now this is with the two conversation children the conversation is this way you have two characters in this the characters are anusha and the teacher bharati and the teacher mohsin and the teacher rakesh so there are beautiful characteristic in this so this lesson you see it is not as a story pattern it is on a conversation pattern there are students and the teacher now when you go to your school and when you were in school now of course it's online you are with your teacher so you ask so many questions to your teacher so there is a conversation okay so let's go into the lesson i have to play all the characters the characters are see on see into your book children the scene is a classroom characteristic is a teacher and students now the teacher comes into the class enters the classroom what do when the teacher come into the classroom you say good morning teacher or good morning sir good morning madam so here children they are saying good morning sir teacher very good morning sit down children please answer your attendance anusha so teacher is taking the attendance anusha yes sir teacher bharati so what do you say when you call the name bharati present sir chet teacher chetan he is absent sir teacher do you know why he is absent rakesh is answering he is not well sir he has malaria children so why is that boy not in the class because he has malaria <coughs> so the teacher says who oh, how sad teacher after marking the attendance starts discussing these days many people suffer from malaria rita what causes malaria sir teacher mosquitoes cause malaria they also cause other disease like dengue chikungunya etc so children i stop here with this introduction of the lesson number 3 uh, because here the teacher has come into the class and the teacher is taken the attendance and then the conversation of the disease called um, malaria which is caused by mosquito is given so we start with the next further you uh, passage in the next lesson and then we will finish the lesson with the word meaning okay thank you have a great day and children i may give you some new words which is in this and also you will be asked to do this action song of um, rhyming words this is the way
Thank you.